In this video, I'm going to use the math of time to explain why you need to retire early. And I'm not going to talk about how you can triple your life. That was the other video. In this video, I'm going to use the number 19 to explain why you should want to retire early. And if the number 19 doesn't make you want to retire early, then I actually might feel a little bit sad for you. My name is Dion. I help people reach financial freedom. I think the average person can do it in 10 years or less, even if you're not starting from the best position. And one of the things that helps us do that is having the right motivation. The video where I talk about tripling your life, which I will leave a link to at the end of this video in future land, uh, is one of the top probably five reasons why I reached financial freedom. The number 19, which I didn't learn until after I reached financial freedom. And I learned the rule of this number 19 in time to benefit with it for my kids. I'm a single parent with three kids. I did not learn it in time to benefit from it with my parents. So if you're one of those weird people out there who love your family, like I hope you do, hopefully this is in time for you to benefit with your parents and your kids or your siblings. Uh, as far as my parents go, I miss you, mom. I think about you every day. I miss you, Dad. I think about you every day. And based on the jokes I make, I'm probably going to see you soon. The number 19 as to why you should want to retire early is because, I'll use myself as an example. I had 18 years with my kids, right? It was a single parent, raised my kids, had custody. They spent those first 18 years with me, and then they move out at 18 right? Like most other parents, happy 18th birthday. Here's a restraining order. I have super uh, amazing kids, independent, got their own places. Super, I'm very proud of all of them. But we have those 18 years. Now, I'll use myself as an example with my parents. I moved out at 15. So not everybody stays till 18 and not everybody gets all 18 years with their kids. But you have those 18 years, those formative years, those years when you're usually working a lot and they're usually in school to get some time together to experience life with your family. And then if you look at after 18 and you aggregate all of the time together from game night, barbecues, family dinner, holidays, all the times you get together to wear your Marion and Berrien clothes that you're going to spend time with your family. After those 18 years, you basically get one more year spread out over the amount of time you have left with those people. 19 years sounds like a lot. But when you realize that as adults, the way you're going to interact with your parents or your kids is only that one year, if you can make work optional, take out that biggest time restraint on your schedule and free up your time, you have a couple of benefits. One, and both of my parents passed away uh, before I was 45. But if you're, if you're lucky and, and, and you plan like most people do, like the majority of people that you retire around 65, and they're talking about moving that to 67 or 69. And yes, France had riots over that. But if they're going to do that here in the United States, what are the statistical odds your parents are even still around when you free up your schedule enough to go spend time with them? Because here's the freedom that comes from retiring early. You break free of the matrix and you have all of your time again. In the video where I talk about tripling your life, you go from five hours a day where you're exhausted to 15 hours a day to where you're almost never tired because you can sleep whenever you want and you wake up when your body's ready. But you have those 15 hours that you can bend and flex around your family's schedule. So I have some kids who work Monday through Friday and I have a kid who has the, their day off is Tuesday and Wednesday. So I can schedule my stuff that I'm going to do so that I'm free on the days that they're available. So that in the context of getting 19 years with my kids, if I can double that one year so I can get 20 years with my kids, just adding one more year to the total, I'm literally doubling the amount of time that I get to interact with my kids as adults. Not as kids, not in those formative years. Yes, those are important, but it is our sacred duty as a parent to make sure half of our offspring make it to the age of 18. But once you do that, this is when you actually get to see them as a human. And how much time are you actually going to spend with them if you haven't thought of this number 19? And if you retire early and you make work optional, and yes, there will be a ton of comments because I'm going to be making a video soon 
reacting to the comments from my last video on tripling your life. It is not possible for everybody. And the average person can't do it if you stay average. But if you make some small changes, yes, it is still possible. It's actually easier today than at any point in history because of things like YouTube University. The point of this video was to get you to think about the power of the number 19. What would you do if you could double the amount of time that you would spend with your parents or your kids as an adult? This can happen if you make some small, simple choices that suck for a few years, but make the rest of your life completely worth it. I do my live streams every Tuesday afternoon at 4 p.m. Pacific, and I answer all the questions that come in. On Thursdays and on the weekends, I tend to do short live streams like this because I totally understand people aren't going to click on a two-hour video. But in those two-hour videos, I talk about things like this. And I realized I hadn't been making short videos on these concepts. I have a couple more coming on why you should retire early that I've talked about in those long videos, but I want to get out in a short video like this. And the goal is to keep them under 10 minutes. And because... <laughs> of the comments that are coming in because of the way YouTube works. It shares your content with people who like it and show up for most of your live streams. And then it tries to share it with a new audience. And there are people that are going to see this video that don't think it's possible to reach financial freedom to make work optional. Or they'll say things like, why would you ever want to do that? The purpose of my life is to work. Well, some of us want to enjoy time with our families. And if you're working like I did for most of my life when my parents were around 50 to 60 hours a week, I doubt that I got anywhere close to a year with them after I turned 18. So I'm hoping this video can fix that mistake with some other people who, like I said, are weirdos and like to spend time with their family. In the comments below, put the questions. If you can't make it to a live stream to listen to two hours, if you put the question in these comments, I will answer them in future videos. And I hope this video at least makes you think. Until my next video, thanks for coming to my Dion talk.